Okay, guys, uh, can we start with the next session? Lots of talks going on. <laughs> Me, I was also involved in one talk. India, Pakistan, very high. so that you get to know whether you need to spend the remaining amount or you just wasted one minute, right? So I'm going to talk about, okay, this is the session overview. Uh, what is automation? A few definitions. Skills required, what skills are required, then what is a problem with tools? Then the story, automation story, uh, the failure stories. Then the different forums, what is the state in those forums? Then the different tools, what I think are tools, and then what is the future in my tiny luck or attempt at prediction. Uh, something like this, social media, your thoughts, my thoughts, then industry thoughts, uh, one code, then skills required, then uh, problem with tools, then the parts of the, the same failure story, and as an industry leader, what can we do? I'm not against automation. Why I'm not against automation? Then what kind of tools? Um, I'll give this slide deck to everyone. Um, and then we need to build tools. What kind of tools did I help build? Some examples, and then some bonus prediction, and then about me. I see the speaker coming, so I'll uh, take, uh, I'll try to put this in like minutes and then eight minutes for question and answer right uh, what if we cannot optimize right? what's the use of learning so much about automation cool um, uh, feel free to leave if you saw if you didn't like what you saw or else that's fine so automation one key thing 
we have in our mind and we keep discussing with most of the folks is when we talk of automation, we put the word test automation. Okay? Then the word software testing. Software testing is not just about execution. It has a lot of parts. You need to think, you need to get resources, get resources as in collect information, and then you need to question, then you test, then you collect the results, observe it, analyze it, evaluate it, and then finally you take a decision. This forms a software testing. Unfortunately, we call it test automation. Maybe it should have been test execution process has been automated, or check automation. There's a difference between a check and a test. A test is what a human can do, where you actually need to evaluate. There's no binary choice. A check is a machine can do it. What we are automating is a check, but we call it test. Big job. Okay. Wikipedia, this definition is still there. Test automation is the use of special software to test something else, right? And you would thought, right now I'm given a clue, right? So now I don't know what 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 do you think as test automation? Let me put it. What is your thought of test automation or automation in general? Which side to take? Go for it. I assume that you have not heard me. Go for it. When I say automation, what comes to your mind? Manual process. What kind of process? Manual. Manual process we are automating. Reducing manual effort. Reducing manual effort. Manual in the dictionary is equal to done by hands. Okay? And we equate it to the thinking activity. When we test, we think, but then we call it manual testing, which is very wrong because manual is actually doing the hands. So when we test, we don't just test using hands, we think, use your brains. And my thoughts is repetitive task which can be completed using a tool which can be very important. Not repetitive task using a tool, which can be completed by a tool, which doesn't need a human. Small utilities or tools that can assist testing, not replace testing, assist testing. You pick the tool based on the problem, not the reverse. You don't take the tool to the problem. You pick the problem, I mean, you see the problem and then decide which tool to pick. Big difference. Just because our company has bought a specific tool, you don't apply it in every context, every project. But unfortunately, we are forced to do that. Agree, disagree? Agree. Thank you. <laughs> Industry thoughts. Go search for automation testing jobs. There are jobs. Okay. Go search for skills. Test automation, testing, automation engineering, computer science, Java, Selenium. These are not skills. These are, what is Java? Technology. Language. What is Selenium? Thank you. It is not a skill. Using the tool is a skill. Knowing how to use a tool is a skill. We confuse tools with skills. In JD, we put that. Then the candidates see that and they put it in their resume and the cycle continues. Let's skip that. This, according to me, are the skills required. Some of the skills required. <clears throat> Ability to accept confusion and come out. We do that day in and day out. We see confusion. Hey, you gave me a requirement document, and that person is saying, this is not the updated document. humans are intelligent. We humans know where we can sniff problems. You give a software with no bugs, you know that there are some high priority bugs lying hiding somewhere else. How, how are you able to do that? Experience. How are you able to do that? Skills. A tool will not tell that. Right? Quick learning. We talk about automation. Of course, we are learning so much every day, every time we use a tool. So these are the skills. Let's not replace these skills with names of tools. Go 
want to see? Any mistake? You found it? I guess so. No? So the problem with tools is this, for me at least. What do we do after learning a tool? We do those two things. Apply it at every possible opportunity. I learned a tool. Let me go and apply. Is that the right tool for the right problem? But I have learned this tool. Subconsciously we do that. Search for areas where you can use that tool. One is apply. Second is go search for it and then apply. Change the problem statement to suit our solution, to suit your solution. You, ha you have built a framework, you have built a solution using your tool. The problem doesn't need that particular solution. But then just because you have built it, you want to use it. Unfortunate reality. Here is one team, here is one more team, here is one more team. Can you all three collaborate? Of course we can do. Hi. And then that's the happy part stops there. So we are built in Python. We are built in Java. This is the best tool. Seriously, this is the best tool. It happened. Same company. We have, we, have, we have used it for that project. For that project, that context, it worked. First understand the new context of the new project. Then you say whether this is applicable or not. That open mind, not having an open mind is dangerous for us for our industry, for our community. Hard to kill your darlings. It is mine, I built it with my sweat, blood. I did the you know, customized report, I did the initial framework, I, I have my own sheet of uh, where my data is stored. You know what beautiful, how much effort I put in, you know. Now you ask me to apply, uh, take some other framework, Are we ready to do that? You tell what is your problem, we will do in this. Agree, disagree. Partly agree, partially agree. <laughs> Just because we have got a tool, it doesn't mean we can use it right away. We need to learn it. We need to learn it. Okay, we are learned, we are master, we learned it. A member leaves, a new member comes. When will that person learn? This project change, new project came. To suit that project, how much time do we need? All these are not accounted for. Big problem. That team solved using this particular tool in five days, five weeks. Why are you taking 15 weeks? Are you, context is different. Just because we don't have the courage to tell the truth, we say there is some mistake with us. Sorry. Let me start job hunting. Right? Or let me do the 15 hour stretch. Even after you deliver the solution, they will not accept the solution, don't worry. They will not accept the solution. By then the problem would have changed. Some <coughs> cost fallacy. Example is this. You wait for a bus. A bus comes, uh, you wait for 10 minutes. And the person says, the bus will come in next two minutes. Uh, I mean, why are you waiting for so long? Right? Leave. He was like, no, I have already spent 10 minutes. Now let me wait for two more minutes. That is the meaning of sunk cost fallacy. It's already gone. It's sunk. Get out of it as soon as possible. Don't try because just because you have invested so much of time, effort, money, don't say, okay, let me put it and correct it. No, it's gone, gone. Come out of it. The sooner you come, it's better for you. Now comes the crux. How we fail. When I say how we fail, it's not how capital we fail. It is me, me across different companies, right? Um, across different companies, across different projects in a single company and things like that. So that's a story. So don't try to find out which company failed, which project. Focus on the story. Everyone automates, let us automate too. Have you done that? 
you. Why? Because everyone automates, let us automate. Did you succeed? When you follow someone, the, when you follow the crowd, the only place they take you out is exit. You can test it out. 7 out of 10 times it will be true. I heard the Netflix example, right? Like, uh, when I created this slide long back, it was amazing. Deploys to production every 1.6 seconds. Yeah. Amazon needs it, not you, not your project, not your customers. Amazon deploys, so we will also do that. For what? Customer, customer is like, customer doesn't want it. But you deploy, because Amazon does it. Your project, your company doesn't need it first. That common sense needs to be there. Unfortunately, many companies don't have that. It's not about companies, it's about the people. Automate 100%. If you, if you automate, you get promoted. If you don't, fired. Or change in department. They need something to fire or promote. And it is mostly those who don't understand testing. So you slowly improve with understanding, right? By failure, you learn and things like that. So first is like, uh, first was like, uh, right? So first was this. Everyone automates, let's automate. For why, we don't know, but let's do it. Second is, let's automate 100%. Let's deploy super fast. Third is this. Some, some realization happens. It's impossible. Automating 100% is difficult. Possible. Right? Let's automate key scenarios. Some of that. Let's automate key scenarios. Right? Then now you are on track. Now new problems come. Every solution brings a new problem, by the way. This is reality. Okay? When you say automate key scenarios, then the person says, I want test cases in this format. Who the one who writes the code for using the tool. The one who has written the test case like this is how we are executing. If you want to automate, automate, or else tell that you can't automate. A new fight starts. Right? So, slowly, but then, with every relationship, after the fights, there is you know, some harmony, and then people realize that, okay, let's automate key scenarios, and they automate it all. Next comes the part. Oh, even though there is a key scenario, we cannot automate all the parts of it. So key scenario, of course there is a key scenario. You need to create test data, you go through start to end all of it. But you know, this part, no, I am more uh, confident if I do it uh, without automation or without tools. I need a SMB to do that. Then you realize, okay, let's automate the checks. As I told, a check which can be done by machine. Binary checks. Right? So then you say, okay, hey, we can use automation not with the intention of testing per se, but to assist testing. It will not replace, it will assist. What takes more time for in your testing? And I will see if I can build, I, I can write a script to help you reduce the time. Can I help you to uh, compare two files? Right? Things like that. So that is about, we complement each other very well. So this is how you start improving. Let me stay for some more time on this. When you are doing all of this, now you have reached, you know what to automate, you know when to automate, and you know for whom to automate, all of this. Then you are slowly, you, you know, become a little more confident, and you can say you can automate anything and everything, because you have a checklist, hey, is this required for testing, I mean, is this required for automation, can it be done using this with all of it? This happened. People wanted us to pick. We kept telling, don't automate this. You will suffer. Don't automate this, you will suffer. We'll take care. You do. Sometimes, or rather most of the times, the power is not with you. Right? It is with decisions are taken and then you are not involved and then you, you just have to do it and things like that. Right? That time what happened, still the team was 
confident and courageous enough to tell the truth at all the times. With every report, end line, it was there. We don't recommend this approach. It is being done because you want us to be, you want us to do. You send that weekly status reports, right? With that green, red, and colors and stuff like that. So there we wrote because we have. When you know the stuff, when you have the skills, you are not afraid of anything. Agree? When you know, you want to fire, fire. Because you have the skill to get any job. Right? So we kept doing that. And what happened? It bombed in production. Bombed in production as in when it was, when uh, that solution was highly dependent on and monitored and by key people and all of it and taken to production like environment for execution, it bombed. We kept telling, we said, read the report. From first report, we are telling you. Right? There was one more uh, vendor who was competing with us. They never told all of this. They also did, we also did. The difference was we kept telling, don't do it, don't do it, but take it. You want it, take it. By being truthful, that vendor was fired and we were hired. Not to do automation, but to keep it, keep our team as a consultant for the project. See, you were the ones who told the truth. We like you. Stay with us. And the one who said, you tell what you want, we'll do it, fine. So be truthful. Even though when your voice shakes, tell the truth. It's hard at first, but do it. With practice, you'll get it. It needs a lot of courage, but that's what is missing in the industry. So we messed up because we should have ideally not even sent the first report. We messed up, but succeeded because we kept telling the truth at all the times. Now, as an industry leader, each one of us, what can we do? You see the questions on Quera, which is better, manual testing or automation? I have one and a half years experience in manual testing. Is there any scope for manual testing or can I switch to automation? Don't encourage such questions. Answer those questions saying, give a complete picture. Don't take a choice, this or that. Say that both are important and both require different sets of skills. Can you uh, verify 10,000 records in like two seconds for a specific pattern or trend without any tool? You can. In two seconds, difficult, right? So use tools. See, you need to give examples, examples and counter examples of a specific approach. As an industry leader, you need to answer that, answer those questions that way. But then most 70 to 75 percent of the answers are like this: This is better. You'll get this salary. These companies are recruiting. You'll get numbers also from uh, some reports. 80 percent of the jobs are so and so. Why? Don't misguide. If you don't want to guide, don't guide. But don't misguide, please, right? So this is one of the key things we could do after this, if you agree to this. By the way, I'm not against automation. A good blog to read is this. At least three good reasons for testers <coughs> to learn to program by Michael Bolton. Okay. Uh, this is a mind map of tools, which is up on Test Insane website. So all the tools, even I can't read this project. This is one tool I help build. See, we keep doing um, testing for date, time, right? Somewhere. What else was there? Ah, phone number. So for a phone number, there are different formats available. Right? I do understand that in the requirement it will be mentioned, requirement document it will be mentioned, that this format, that format, all of it. Can you give me the guarantee that every time you test, a phone number, you will follow all of those night 8.30, Friday, India, Sri Lanka. No, we cannot, right? Because we are not machines to follow a set of rules. We are emotional, we are irrational. But that's the beauty of human. So what we do, what we could do is reduce the time to get test data, right? Here is a simple tool. You add, you put the number in even different formats. You could go ahead and increase the format types also. And then you click on it, it copies that particular text, you paste it. That is a simple tool. Of course, now with smart minds around, 
I know you are visualizing that we could do all of it in an Excel and then put a get a tool to do all of it, validation all of it. I do get that. This is like level zero, right? At least start. Let's start thinking this way. Tools is not everything about automation, right? Which are can help you in your daily day-to-day -day task. Use tools, and this is built. I mean, this is like custom built, right? Same with date format, time zones. I wrote a book called. 50 plus tips to boost your productivity. It is available for free at bit.ly slash books aj, all lowercase. Beyond compare is a tool. Uh, texter is a tool. You keep writing the same email. Hi, so and so, my boss. Good day. Please find that as the weekly dashboard for the week and then copy paste all of it. Why waste time? Texter is like just replaces. You type two letters or three letters with a specific combination, it types out everything. You can then go ahead and change things like that. When we start thinking in terms in terms of that, how do we save time? Then you can come up with new tools. There is Pearl Grid. This is again add-ons. Okay. So that is to take the apps from one Android device and then put it on another. We were testing apps. We needed like 60 plus apps or 80 plus apps to test. Now, how do you set up a device with 60 plus or 80 plus? You can't go to Google Play and install, 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 right? It's a manual process, right? So there you go. Hey, can you write a tool? By the way, I was not super good at writing tools. In fact, I'm not super good at writing tools, right? But at the same time, I know folks who are like super interested, super curious, super knowledgeable to write tools. So I said, hey, can you help me? Like, what, what else do you need? Do you need an interesting problem to solve? Say, of course, yes. I'm bored of doing the same uh, report, which I know 84 case will fail any time and every day. Right? Like, here is the challenge. Here is a device. Take all the apps, put all the apps in this phone. Right? You take a week to do that. No one questions this effort. When we are interested, we'll do it any time and every time. That person did it. Then I use this. What the? He's happy. He puts it on his resume. I'm happy. My work is time is ready. Right. Auto writing. I use this on Orkut, and that Orkut kind of thing. Thirteen years experience. So that time Orkut was the Facebook. Right. To wish happy birthday, I used auto writing. Anyways, you get it in the list. Go click on the name and say happy birthday, and then the name. Done. Things like that. Many people test mobile apps without even recording what's happening on the mobile. Why? After finding a bug, hard to replicate bug, especially, then they spend most of their time. See what happened to this hard to replicate. And they record it first, no? Start the recording and then test. Then if you don't need it, trash the recording. If you need it, you are safe. I don't know why I mean, it's so hard to understand. Bonus predictions. Identify areas where automation can help. Don't wait for someone to tell where to use automation. You identify areas. You get promoted by the value you add to the company because you are being paid CTC, cost to the company. For being paid, I mean for the cost, you need to add value. If you don't add value, the one who adds value gets promoted. Simple logic. Identify areas where automation can help. Write small scripts. Quick and dirty tools. Don't write the best tool. No one wants it. You are not a tool vendor to write a best tool. You need a tool to finish your job. Let it be dirty. Let there be no UI, no fancy. That's OK. Focus on the problem. Mix of automation tools is my prediction for the future. The person who can mix, hey, for this I can do this, for this I can do that. And I can very well write a small dirty script to merge both of it and then do magic. Don't focus on a tool, focus on the concept. When you focus on the concept, then you are open to multiple tools. Big difference versus going saying, okay, let me go to Selenium training, let me go to this tool training, let me go to this tool training. 
go to the concepts training if you want. Then you will know which tool to use where. Tools are like weapons. Don't go for gun training. Don't go for rifle training. Don't go for knife training. Find out how to fight on wa water, how to fight uh, in the air, how to fight on land. Then you will know, oh, okay, on land means I need to know these tools. Right? Things like that. Ability to mix and match tools and frameworks. And please, let's solve problems. Let's not create new problems. Uh, links if you're not able to read it's ajay184f at gmail.com test with ajay.com is my website bit.ly slash books aj is the free books six of them uh, leanpub.com slash 50 mistakes is the 50 plus mistakes of my software testing career right and then my conference talks are available on test with ajay and i'm very social on social media Open for questions. Questions, comments, go for it. And I hope I stuck to the time. So, Ajay, as part of your team, like, what is the rank of plans that you have for the team members who belong to quality and testing? Right, um, so there is a programming basics training go, uh, going on for the teams. At the same time, there's a testing fundamentals training, and then there are tools specific based on the project. So when people, if they directly jump to testing, I mean the tools, then they don't know what to do if that tool is not there. So there's <coughs> testing fundamentals, and then the programming fundamentals help them understand which tool, which kind of tool to use where. So that training is, every month there is a training and the leads recommend the members. There is a Friday, Saturday training. The company spends the Friday for the members, the members spend their Saturday for the company. Because if the company is, if not, is not serious about learning, then they'll ask, come on Saturday. That is like, you are not ready to invest, you are not trusting the people, that's why you ask them to come on Saturday. You invest by showing that you are ready to spend time on Friday and let them invest or show the trust that they are ready to spend the Saturday. You are not ready to spend the Saturday but you are ready to spend on Friday, you are on uh, observatory mode, be ready to be fired. Right. Why you have such people? Because it affects the culture. Any other questions? Thank you once again. Thanks for your time. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I do understand personality types. Not everyone wants to talk all the time in front of the public, in front of the groups. I'm available for one on one talks. I don't talk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I think both of us were not even thinking of that when we did this. <laughs> I just uh, saw that. Sure. Thank you. Thanks Thank a lot. Thanks. 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 Thanks a lot for coming. Guys, Vikas is here. Please. So what we will do is, this is the last session for the day. So I will just download. Uh, actually, I have his presentation on my laptop, so I will just download his presentation. In the meanwhile, if you have any questions with Ajay, you can just take. So uh, one quick thing I wanted to yeah, say which please. I forgot yeah. is the previous speakers have also spoken on the similar line. I'll give you examples. Somasundra, he talked about get the bots to do the tasks. He did not say get the bots to do the testing. He said get the bots to do the tasks. Panindra, he focused on people process technology. Not tools technology people, people process technology. Sio Prasad, 
build something which works for you. Very beautiful sentence. Build something which works for you. RF crush, trust people you hire. You need to trust. Without people, there's nothing. You can have the best tool, worst people, sorry. Shilpa, in her slide, she had this aborting unnecessary request. Isn't that beautiful? She had done her work, automate. Then she thought, hey, why do I need this? Why do I need the other images when this image is enough? Right. So things like that. Small, small things is what not like heavy, heavy duty to use that enterprise uh, projects. Thank you.